Howdy, welcome back. Today we're going to take a little look at the chicken house that I built for Mama. Now this thing is vaguely portable. I can pick up the far end of it over there by the door, and we'll go over there in a minute. But I can pick that up, and you can see one of the skids right here. I can drag it around on this. This whole thing probably weighs, oh, three, four hundred 400 pounds. It's not very heavy. The This is the nesting boxes back here. This is eight foot long this way. And the nesting box is about three foot deep on the bottom. Uh, I think this was about uh, 28, 30 inches tall this way. And the pin area from here to here is about 10, uh, eight, yeah, about 10 foot. So the floor space here is 10 by eight, uh, which is okay. This here, the sides are five foot tall. Uh, conduit, this is all made out of conduit, uh, electrical metal conduit, EMT. Uh, it's all made out of conduit. Conduit comes in 10 foot lengths. So this is five foot, it's half a stick of conduit. Now, my roof, rafters, trusses, whatever you want to call them, they're bent out of a piece of conduit. Uh, 10 foot lengths, that's part of the reason that it's eight foot wide is because I can take a 10 foot piece of conduit, put a bend here, a bend here, and a bend at the top and get one rafter out of a 10 foot piece of conduit. And we'll look at that when we get inside. This is a 10 by 12 blue tarp, uh, the cheap $5 tarps that you get at the store all this tarp needs to do is last for one year, if it'll, or not even a year, last through the summer. In the winter time, I'm going to wrap this with clear plastic and put a clear plastic top on it. And now I've got a little greenhouse to where I don't have to keep my chickens as, as warm in the, in the winter time. They'll stay pretty warm. And I will probably insulate this uh, chicken box with just some bubble wrap, ductwork bubble wrap and I'll glue it probably two layers. That'll give me an R8. And probably put a layer of tin on the top, the sides, and the back uh, just to keep the bubble wrap from deteriorating in the, in the UV. So I'll, we'll go inside now, and uh, I'll show you how I've built this. Okay, one of the really neat things about EMT is half-inch slips inside of three-quarter inch and three-quarter inch slips inside of one inch. So these here are three quarter inch. The horizontals and the uprights are all three quarter inch. And the, the brackets are one inch. And I've just, the only thing that I really welded here are the brackets. Uh, you know, all the corners have a bracket that looks like this. You can see part of the, uh, the bow here on the top, it comes in and it drops into the three quarter this is half inch, this is three quarter, this is one inch. And it's, uh, this has got a little stop collar made out of three quarter inch tack welded onto it. And this has got a, this three quarter inch has got a stop collar of one inch tack welded to it. And uh, these are pinned in place. There's a screw on most of them. You can't see it here, but there's a screw where I just pre-drilled with an eighth inch uh, drill and uh, put a sheet metal screw in there to keep, keep them from moving around. So here you can see the, the detail around the gate. There's the, the gate, the door, whatever you want to call it. And uh, this is three quarter inch across the top. This is half inch conduit here. And that just, there's another one of my little brackets that I made that just slips up in there and it gives me a double a double uh, upright so that I don't tear up the uh, chicken wire with the latch. And you can see the details over there of my gate hinge. Sort of how that works. Uh, I should have made my gate just a little bit taller. I do have about a Oh, two and a half inch gap right there. I don't like that, but that's how it is. 
here's a little detail of my latch. This is a vibration proof latch. I made a video on it, but this is about the same thing. This little bracket has just got some foam Rubitex on there. A couple of bolts that just squeeze it on there. Uh, it's good enough for a chicken coop. Wind won't get it rattling and, and, and work it loose that way. And you can see here, the latch only acts on this right here, this bar here. That way I don't tear up the chicken wire. And there's the train. Now, if you look real close, you can see some diagonal bracing wire. Okay, off the front of the, uh, the nesting box, there's a horizontal member that comes up to a vertical member, and that is cross X braced with 14 gauge fencing wire to hold everything reasonably square. This does have quite a bit of flex in it. It needs to have some flex because I live in the Ozarks. There is no flat ground in the Ozarks. And this is meant to be moved across the yard and out into the garden. So I've got to have something that's got enough flex in it to where I can set it on reasonably uneven ground and it finds its own, you know, all four sides hit the ground. Uh, so that cross bracing wire, when I pick up the front of it, the whole thing doesn't just rack it. It limits the amount of rack when I pick it up and drag it. So here you can see my nesting box. It's got three doors in it. The doors, you can hold them up with, uh, there's a hook hanging down from, the, from one of the bows there in the top. Uh, you can just hook the doors open. The door hinge is made from a piece of rag joint um, flex connector, ductwork flex connector. Uh, you know, I'm a heating and air guy. What else am I going to use? So there's some of the vibration proof latches that I built uh, to hold that door, those doors shut. Uh, I didn't do any detail video on building this box. I mean, it's just a big old box. I will point out the the back the top of it on the back back there is pitched obviously to let the rain off but the front or the bottom of it is pitched if everything in the chicken house was level it's pitched two inches and three foot and that way if any water happens to get down in there chicken spill their water or something leaks or whatever the water runs out the front and out onto the ground rather than puddling up in there. It also makes it, will make it a little bit easier to clean. We'll just take a trash can and then just reach up in there with a rake and rake everything out into a trash can and then haul it out, put it in the garden. When this chicken house eventually gets moved to the garden in the fall, then we'll just rake it out on the ground. I mean, why wouldn't you? That's the whole point is to have all your chicken manure on the garden. So I'll pull up and we'll get a little bit closer and we'll see inside. So you're looking through chicken wire here. So this is not, the camera's not really wanting to focus real good. But uh, you can kind of see the roost. It's just a piece three quarter inch conduit. It is removable. It goes through the side walls and it's just pinned in place. You might've seen those brackets on the opening shots with a piece of conduit sticking out through the wall and a bolt pinning it in place. That's so if things get really, really bad in there, I can just pull that, that piece of conduit, plumb out of the way and get up in there and clean. I don't think I'll ever have to do that, but I wanted to make it removable in case I did. Um, you can see the nesting boxes back in the back. This piece of uh, Blandex down here at the bottom, there's some brackets up on them nesting boxes. In normal use, this will not have hay and stuff down here in the front. This will just be clean or as clean as you can get it. Uh, and I, these will retain the straw or sawdust back into the next nesting boxes. So here's the 
back up in there you can see the nesting boxes there's uh, eight of them they're a foot square and like i said right there's the bracket that holds the uh four inch piece of bland x i think it's half inch by four is what i cut a piece of bland x that bracket it, it holds that bland x in and that'll trap the bedding up in the chicken boxes you can see a couple of babies back in there uh, like I said, this will not have straw in it up in the front, mostly, when we're using it in the summer. But right now we've got a dozen and a half babies in there, and I put, put extra straw in there, and I've got a heat lamp on them, and a uh, uh, fluorescent light is, I've got a fluorescent light going in there. Chickens are stupid. If they don't have enough light, they just sleep. So even with that... Uh, screen wire opening you know it's not very bright in there so they just sleep all the time so yeah there's a couple of babies cheap 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 and you know chicken water and chicken baby feeder but uh there they're coming out so anyway that's kind of long in the short of our uh portable chicken house, chicken powered lawnmower, whatever you want to call it. We'll uh, see you guys later. Y'all drive safe. Watch for deer.